What's up everybody? Uh, this is going to be another mail haul video. Um, as far as hunt videos are concerned, I do plan to get out and do some hunting, especially um, at some of the stores at Myrtle Beach, including some local stores. I just got to wait till I'm feeling better, to be honest. Though I'm, I'm still sick right now, still getting over a cold, possibly the flu. I'm really not sure exactly what it is, but um, yeah, once I'm 100%, I do plan to get out and do some hunting, and like I said, you will see some footage of some stores in my area. But for right now, let me go ahead and share the pops that I have here with you all. The first one here actually comes from the Funko Shop, and I've become a big fan of this line very recently, so let's go ahead and take a look at the character we have here. This is another spastic plastic character here which is an original character by Funko and this one is called Wolfgang so yeah this one became available in the Funko pop-up shop um, I want to say that it's still available right now I'm not hundred percent sure but you can definitely check out the um, Funko shop and see if it's still available more than likely it is because these are not limited in number they don't tend to sell out you know it takes a good while for them to sell out if they even do sell out so uh, yeah I think this one might still be available but I really like the look of it right away He's basically like a werewolf <laughs> mashed up with a bowler, which is pretty cool. Of course, I am going to take him out and take a closer look at him. You see he's number 18 here, which um, I need to check the number on the spastic plastic. It feels like they've done a lot of them at this point, but I know a lot of them are color variants, so maybe the color variants have the same number. So this pop, it does have some heft to it. The um, images that they had of him they made it look like his fur like you know the coloring on him would be a lot darker he's actually more of a a gray color than a blackish color like they had in some of the images but yeah I really do like the look of him you know he's got the bowling shirt on he's got the pants there ripped up you know of course he has his bowling ball now I don't know if that's intentional there it looks like the paint chipped off some it can kind of get away with it though because this is meant to be a sort of a rough looking character but uh yeah like I said I don't think that's intentional that has been one of my main issues though even though I really like the design of the spastic plastic characters some of these paint jobs have just not been great um, if you've watched some of my other recent videos then you know that's been my main issue with these even here check out the collar along his shirt and I do like the way his shoulders are shaped here you see his shoulders are hunched up like up to nearly the top of his head so I, I really like the stance that he's in but yeah look at the the red paint on, on the white there I think you can see that yeah so just some and it looks really more like it's uh maybe chip paint there as well so yeah the, the paint jobs just they got to be better I mean you know I hope that uh, Funko will continue to step it up you know quality control wise because some of their figures have excellent paint jobs but then some is just like they seem like they were really rushed I'm still happy with the purchase overall I just wish it had a better paint job the next pop here comes from the Disney shop online this was a parks exclusive which became available on the Disney shop initially they had it priced at the wrong price it was very pricey it seemed at first $25 plus the shipping and handling they did fix that and they did refund people that paid that initial price that the five dollar difference so it's still a bit pricey but I figure you know I like the pop enough that it justifies the purchase of it um, they also had uh, some sales going on on their site where I think it was like buy one get one half off or something like that they had some sort of deal going on so you know it made it more reasonable I think eventually even though I just got this one figure though but uh, yeah we have here uh, rainbow unicorn from inside out now I really do like Inside Out. I think it's a great movie. Funny though, um, I've only seen it one time I think, but I really would like to check it out again. But even just that one viewing, I really fell in love with some of the characters. Rainbow Unicorn is in it very, very briefly, but it is a pretty funny scene, you know. And I like the look of the character. I also had the uh, the mini figure of Rainbow Unicorn, which. Oddly enough, it's not like it's a rare mini. I think all the uh, Inside Out minis 
had the same you had the same uh, chance of getting each one but for some reason the value was up pretty high on that one I don't know if it's still high valued or not but it actually was uh, worth over sixty dollars at one point I think but uh, yeah I'm not sure why that is but regardless you know now we had the pop here like I said from a very awesome movie the only other pop I have from this movie is the character sadness because I thought sadness really made that movie in a lot of ways just a hilarious character voiced by Phyllis from um, the office you know actually I, you know she did a great job with that voice so uh, yeah <laughs> this is a very cool pop glad to have this in the collection like I said sadness is the only one I have and then I have a couple of minis I thought about getting bing bong I never got around to it maybe I will add them to the collection eventually and I actually saw one time a um a con exclusive variant of joy she had a glitter paint job I should have picked that up um, I, that, I do regret not making that purchase it was at my local comic book shop I really should have picked that one up but oh well you know <laughs> let's go ahead and take a closer look at Rainbow Unicorn so it's not a surprise here that Rainbow Unicorn does come with the stand because the hooves especially are very thin there you know and um, I don't know I mean maybe she could stand alright without it but I kinda doubt it though especially since the tail is off to one side there and everything you know yeah so I think it's good that it does have a stand it actually feels kinda heavy as well probably due to the hair sculpt I'm actually gonna take her off of the stand here just for a moment um, the coloring is very nice you see how the colors you know kinda slowly blends in there from um, I guess I don't even know what you would call that almost fuchsia type color I think to the darker purple there yeah blends very nicely the unit uh, the actual um, horn here it actually is a uh, you know more than one color it might be a little tough to see her on video but it does kind of alternate a more of a pinkish color than a purple there it does alternate there up top so very nice coloring on it and of course she does have her coffee cup there because if you see in the movie you know she is basically sort of on a break like in between takes of uh, filming dreams or whatever so yeah pretty cool reference to the movie I didn't even realize she has the heart back there. Like a, I don't know if that's meant to be a tattoo or what, but she does have a heart back there. And, of course, she has a multicolored tail as well. So, yeah, very nice coloring. Like I said, nice reference to the movie as well. I'd also like the eyes, how, you know, she has the eyelids down there. Adds a little personality to her. And even the, you know, expression. Yeah, she just seems like somebody that's kind of aggravated at work. So, yeah, pretty good job with this pop overall. Um, I think it is still available. Like I said, $20 for shipping and handling. You know, for a Parks exclusive, it seems reasonable enough to me. Some people may not agree, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Finally here, I have a package from Australia, and this is from a viewer named Michelle. And uh, Michelle did hit me up on Instagram to let me know that she was sending something my way. And um, I did open it up. I didn't take everything out, though. I do see, uh, yeah, there's a letter here on the side, so... And I actually haven't looked at this yet. Um, let's see what it says here. Uh, to Franklin, I hope you enjoy this parcel of goodies. Keep up the awesome videos, which I enjoy so much. Bye for now, Michelle. Okay, so she sent a little letter there to go along with it. You see the smiley face there. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at what she sent here. Now, the main item is a pop she knew that I'd been looking for. And I'm going to set this aside just for a second. Let's see what else she sent in here. Because I know there's some little items in here. Get the bubble wrap out of the way. Okay, so I see something here that says The Thing, and um, I really do like this movie. This is just a classic John Carpenter movie, and it's a limited edition coin, and it, it kind of has the cover on there. Yeah, so I've actually, I don't have anything like this in my collection. Limited to 1,000, individually numbered, uh, embossed on both sides, gold edition. Yeah, so this is my first time having a coin like this, and I guess it's number 20. That's the only number I see there. Okay, so yeah that's pretty cool you know something to go along with one of my favorite horror movies it, it is really a classic movie um, and I probably will you know just hang this up on the wall somewhere they did a remake of that movie of course the remake was pretty forgettable it's just you know it's such a classic you, you, you can't go wrong with the original oh, next here we have some it um, button badges okay so you see the loser club in there got a couple of Pennywise ones uh, let's see what else Okay, just more Pennywise in there, but different looks for the character. I'm really looking forward to, um, you know, it, uh, what is it, volume two or part two, whatever they're going to call it. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that to see how that plays out because I really did enjoy the remake. Yeah, so 
I, I need to do another shadow box and maybe when you know when I get around to doing another shadow box then um, I'll make sure these pins go inside of it so those are pretty cool and one more small item here oh <laughs> this is actually representing Australia so you have a keychain here with a kangaroo on it and it actually has sort of a metallic shiny look to it so that is pretty cool you know to really represent Australia there that's pretty awesome okay so let's go ahead and get to the pop and she does have this uh, bubble wrap it feels like oh it's in a soft protector as well and this is one that I just I never caught up to it and I think I want to say it was um a think geek I think geek exclusive I think which I don't have think geeks in my area so uh yeah I never caught up to this online either this is pretty cool yeah so we have here the xenomorph and um this one uh it's based off of alien covenant but this is the blood splattered variant of the xenomorph yeah, so I'd really been wanting this one. I just never caught up to it though, and I really wanted to add it into my collection. I have a basically a Predator Alien collection that I kind of shelved together. So, yeah, I felt like this was missing. Very happy to have this now. Um, I can't remember if I have uh, the common or not. You know, when I sh I'll actually show you, uh, you know, some images of that collection. I'll see if I had the common Xenomorph. I know for sure I had the Neomorph with Toddler. I also have Orum there with the uh, face hugger. So, yeah, I wasn't a big fan of Alien Covenant. I mean, I thought the human characters made so many silly mistakes in it all the way up to the end. <laughs> like, it was just, it was really annoying. But I did like some of the visuals. And, of course, I always liked the design of the Xenomorph. So I very much appreciate receiving this. Like I said, it doesn't have the sticker on here, but I want to say that this was a Think Geek exclu exclusive. And I know a lot of times in Australia, they're able to get exclusives, but not always with the stickers, um, which, you know, makes sense because it's a different region. But, um, you know, I I've said it many times before. I collect the pops, not the stickers. You know, I'm not about stressing over the stickers. So I'm just happy to have this figure. I am going to leave it in you know the uh, pop I mean the pop box in the pop protector for right now yeah like I said I'll try to show you some images of my predator and xenomorph uh, collection here but uh, Michelle this is very much appreciated and just thanks in general for you know supporting the channel you definitely didn't have to send these gifts but they are very much appreciated and like I said just supporting the channel that does mean a lot so yeah that's pretty much going to do it for this video I just wanted to share these items with you all and I'm like I said I will try to do some hunts in the very near future even if I don't actually pick up anything I still want you to see you know some of the stuff that's available in my area including like I said the local stores I definitely want to show them off because I know there's a chance that some of you may you know visit Myrtle Beaches sometimes and I want you to know where you can go to find some really cool figures at and not even just Funko Pops but you know just cool collectibles in general I want you to be able to see well you know the spots that you should check out so definitely be on the lookout for that in the near future um, I'm about to go ahead and rest now I know you can hear it that my voice is not great right now so hopefully I'll get over this cold or flu or whatever it is pretty soon here and be back to 100% but uh, yeah thank you all for take, taking the time to check this out and I'll talk to you all again real soon